Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. I'm Kevin and today we're back to our philosophy topic. So, since our last topic, we only talk about the good life of the philosophers who already get out of the politics and being the old people who live on the mountain. Like now, we are going to talk about what makes the life of the people become meaningful. So you guys can see for the philosophers, we could see that yeah, they have a lot of things to do. They have to figure out questions, they have to figure out philosophy, they have to figure out the theories and then get those theories to people they want to know. So that's how the life of philosophers is going. But today, we are going to talk about the life of a normal human, but the life that has to be a meaningful life. So. Our topic today, we're going to consider one of a lot of part, of course, a lot of part to make a life meaningful, right? So today we're just taking the first part. That's what make a life meaningful is depend on your action. This just going to focus on the action of a people. It's not going to focus on like mortals, I mean morals or anything, but we just focus on the action. So in this topic. The main theories that we have that the things that make your life become meaningful is that you are going to do things that you think that is meaningful. For example, you just want to do things that you like. Yeah, after all, that's just things you want to do. So if you do it, your life is meaningful. So that's how simply the theories is. Now let's come into an examples to see the advance and also the it. I mean, it's advantage of the life that you just work by action. So, let's take a guy. His name is Bill. He said, yeah, the life has to be meaningful. I am a people who like extremely things. And to make my life become meaningful, I have to sing for lion. For example, like that, right? So, when Bill goes to sing for lion, of course, everybody knows the result. The lion chased him and also his family chased him too. So, you guys can see, he has to hide on a tree and Bill has to wait a lot for people to rescue him. So, after all, the things that is happened in this topic tell us that, yeah, things that you want to do in your life is really really matter and also it's yet you the meaning of your life but still doing anything without any considers could make your life being meaningful but still it will go in to make you suffer okay so in this case many people will think that yeah so that means if we don't need to suffer we have to go to do or going to yeah get away yeah get away or stay away from a lot of things you guys can say avoid a lot of things so of course that there is things that you guys possible yeah really cannot do but still there is something that you guys could use to make your life become meaningful so because it's just focused on the action so we are not going to talk too much details about it and of course we will come about those details later when I finish to talk about the way that I'm thinking. So you guys can see, when you want to not suffer, you have to avoid doing something, right? But this is the important part. You guys know about the time topic that I already talked before? You guys can see that time could go ahead but cannot go back. So when you are guys doing something, you have to consider and also thinking about the result of it before you choose to action and also after you do it things that you get is things that you cannot change you are not Subaru and also you are not people who can isekai so yeah you cannot going to make the time going back so remember your choice is very important for your future who you are in the future is how you are doing right now in the present right so that's just about the theories of the life meaningful when you are going to act of what you want and now let's come to the bonus part of this topic so I think that yeah of course doing things that make you get consequence maybe make your life being meaningful but you have to suffer too but instead of those way why don't we are just going to change our minds and get some hobbies or get other things for us 
to see as life is meaningful as it could be. For example, for myself, I used to love play video games, and of course, now I still love to play video games. Yeah, I'm a kid, so and I still very like to play video games. But still, when I am grade nine, especially like now, I'm grade nine, right? So when I'm grade nine, I'm focused more on math, and I'm focused on a lot of chemistry and physical. Those things start to become a subject at first. Then I got focused and serious at them. And then finally, they start to slowly change into my hobbies. So now I'm going to figure out the answers of math and chemistry make me think that yeah, this is a very valuable answer and I could use it for my life. So those things now with the video game are two things that going to make me feel that my life is meaningful. Of course, when I'm getting older, maybe the video game are not too meaningful, but still yeah. Things that give us the true valuable will make the bigger meaning for our life, and so that's all I want to say with you guys today. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys on my next video. And now it's time for to say goodbye. Then see ya.